YouTube, welcome back for one of the last few bits of unboxings that I'm doing. That's not unboxing, don't worry, but I'm not unboxing the CPU, the SSD, or the mechanical drive for mass storage, or the RAM. There's nothing really there to it. So if you are wondering, kind of the rundown of the specs, you can see that in another video. But in this particular video, we're going to be unboxing the Fractal Design R6 TG Edition in gunmetal. So let's go ahead and get this puppy out of the box and we'll see what it's like. This is my first time ever using a Fractal Design case. So let's go ahead and crack the box open. Looks like it did survive shipping, which is a good thing. Now let's go ahead and figure out the fuck. Uh. Oh, well, it's out of the box. I don't have patience for this. So that's the case. I really don't have anywhere to put it, unfortunately. It does have thumb screws in the back. That according to my research, once you build, you don't really need them, but it's just for shipping. It does have this. They're calling it a mod event three. So these two pieces will separate if you're running a large radiator up here for water cooling. Which, as you did see, we will be putting the 360 mil rad in this. I'm not sure if I'm going with front or if I'm going with top yet. Well, let's get the side panel off. And it's got a built-in latch system. So all you have to do is pop it out. Nice fan shroud. This case is, for the most part, configurable. Like you take this wall out completely. And then same concept with the rear panel. I'm gonna drop everything. It just pops out. This panel does have sound deadening material. Or rectified notebook. So you do have a fan hub here. You get six three pin and then three four pin PWMs. You do have these cages here for some hard drives, and it looks like. And then, of course, they put crap down there. Which looks like you get a box of case accessories, two more mounts for 
three and a half inch as well as two and a half inch drives. Now, if you move that front plate here, these are attached to. Back here, you could slot your mechanical drives against that case as well. Some nice large cutouts, as well as even up here, and that are rubber grommeted for cable management. Your front panel, nothing fancy there. Two. Two more two and a half inch drive sleds that it looks like can be reconfigured up front as well. So you do have some nice case mounting options. I might straight up take these out because I'm not actually going to be using these. So, and of course, one thing that has changed from what research I've done is this front door can open but you can unscrew it and flip it to this side as well as they still give you the option to have a three and a quarter inch bay which I'm gonna see if it. with my configuration with the rad depending on what I go if I can steal my Memory card, internal memory card reader and put it in there and then you do have a front dust filter as well just to help cut down on the dust and you get three included fans I believe they're 120s or 140s pretty sure they're 140s and this panel also has sound deadening and then across the top, you probably can't really see it, but you got headphone, microphone, a reset that is slightly inset just so that you don't accidentally press it. Nice big power button, two USB 2.0s and two 3.0s. Now, for those of you that have USB 3.1 Type C devices and you would like to see that, that is a piece that you can buy from Fractal Design as an extra piece. I won't be buying it. It's the only thing that I actually really have that sports. Type-C is my phone and I generally I don't plug my phone into my computer very often. Now let's take a look and see what they include. So they include a cleaning cloth, some zip ties, rubber grommets, all the various different screws, standoffs, all those different things that you need to assemble some sort of computer in in this case. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as well as feel free to drop a comment below. Hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video and you're leaving a thumbs down, feel free to leave what you didn't like about the video in the comments below as well as hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that way you will receive notifications every time I upload a new video. So again, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.